also acknowledge Ambassador Tamaklu. Thank you so much for coming. And also the host assemblyman, uh, Honorable Ismail Ashite Jali. Thank you, Ashali Jali. God bless you so much. And also Honorable Kwasi Abaya. Thank you so much. And your Zulu branch women organizer.
ni ike ike the Ghana we want ni Osumba ike Ayawasu we want ni ike Uda. I'm addressing it is possible. It is not possible without a 24 hours. I'm addressing it is possible. It is not possible without John Damani. Yes, it can be back. Ni eba reset. I am a super soul. Eba, your credit was small at all the second class. Won qualify near from Osiki Hau in Tara. A sleep cafe, you will pay up. Come four to her to the railway, about four to her to the hammer. You were twenty five seats. You were two. The great Akra, in the fit are here, will be seven. But I can give them the world. The last one, money, Obakasi, then I can see 24 hour economy, and go to the bar, or small. What will the 60? 24 hour government of Bradley at 26. But you manage this. Must market a new York BFA, apart from much of the literacy. Or fail what this is, what trouble they will welcome the incoming president, the man who has introduced the Ghana report. His Excellency, Tom Gamani Mahama. And so I've said that 
We need an engineering solution to this problem. Apart from a human solution, which is to stop, avoid littering and throwing things into the drains and so forth, we also need an engineering solution. And so NDC is going to commission the best hydro engineers to find out how we can alleviate the flooding problem in Accra. The problem with flooding, for those of you who studied geography or hydrology, is if you look at Accra, to the north you have the Rapim Ridge of mountains. And a lot of streams come from that range, when it rains in the Papin Green. That's why sometimes in Accra it doesn't rain, but yet you see that water is coming. It's coming from the eastern region from the Papin and uh, some of the rivers there. And those, that water is flowing towards the sea, through the Sakumo stream, the Odor stream, and all the other streams that you see going to the sea. Now we've come to build a city between the mountain and the sea. And so when the water is coming, it encounters the city. And we will not, not let the drains open. People are building on those drains and impeding the flow of the water. And once you impede the flow of water, it will back up and it will flood. And so we need to find an engineering solution to this problem. Otherwise, it will continue forever and ever. And so NDC will come and look at that and resolve this issue. We all want to rescue our country from the clutches of this rapacious MPP administration. And before we can do that, we must win an election. We all know what happens during elections, especially in this circumstance. There are times when I believe you could have won the election but because you let your guard down, you lost it. It is not going to happen again. All we are asking from you is vigilance. We shall send you the resources. We are going to launch the campaign soon. And once we launch the campaign, there is no rest for any of you. We are going to go from house to house continuously from now till December 7th to all the markets, to all the shopping centers. We are going to go and we are going to campaign so that John Dumelo gets elected as a member of parliament. And so we will send you the resources to prosecute that campaign. As soon as the campaign is launched, we're going to send you what you need, including money. So I don't want any excuse that we didn't have money to fuel our vehicle or we didn't have money to do this. We're in opposition, we don't have money, but the little we have will share amongst all the constituencies so that we can campaign. Send the message to every corner. You have the difference. You have all that it takes to be able to do the campaign and you must go and give out the leaflets and give the NDC message out. But aside from the campaign, you can campaign as best as you want. You can have the best message, you can have the best candidates. On the D-Day, if you are not vigilant, you will lose the election. You have a good candidate, we are going to send you the resources, your message is good. All that we require from you now is vigilance. And so please, the party has asked for people who want to volunteer to be trained as party agents. Kindly make sure that you send your best people. What I said was that preferably, if we can find them, we want people with a tertiary education. I didn't say we are recruiting only people with a tertiary education. I said preferably. We want people with a tertiary education. But there are people who probably are SHS who are bright and can be trained to be electoral agents. I have said we should refuse them. What I'm saying is that the election today is more complicated than it was in the past. In the past, we needed people to sit there to prevent imposters. Now the issue of imposters is resolved by the biometric verification machine. But you must have somebody who can understand that the 
number of the biometric verification machine must be the same as the number of ballots in the box. And when you're filling the, you're filling the page sheets, you must see it's like algebra. C, uh, C uh, uh, 5 plus A4 plus 3 must be equal to this. If you don't have the know-how, there's no way you're going to understand when those figures are put on the page sheets. And as I was saying, preferably we can find people with a tertiary education or people who don't have a tertiary education but have the uh, uh, cognitive sense to be able to decipher the page sheets and be able to train as proper polling agents. Let's find those people. And so all of you who are accountants, all of you who are architects, all of you who are professionals, let us know the polling station where you vote. So that on that day you are not just going to vote and go away. You will vote and sit there on behalf of NBC and make sure that the right thing is done. Because I believe that if this election is transparent and fair, I have no doubt in my mind that NBC will win it. And so finally, you have the Domelo. The, the He's known across the length and breadth of this country. Everybody knows the kind of person he is. He's not only good in the career that he has chosen for himself, but he does a lot of other things. Even without being the MP, if you see some of the things that he's done in this constituency, it is commendable. He's a farmer, and I've been... He's my fellow farmer. And I know that he cares about the young people of this constituency. And so, I present him to you, I put him in your hands, and it's you who can make him the member of parliament. And I know that with his work rate, even not being a member of parliament, if you add the mantle of parliamentary leadership to him, he will make sure that this constituency becomes a model constituency for the rest of the world.